Good People is the title of a compelling new play that explores class in America. It's extremely human, funny, and it packs an emotional punch. Well, we were there for opening night. I'm excited to hear the Boston accents because I'm from that area, so I may have to chime in on my seat or something. I love Dan so much. I, I am really excited to uh, to see what, what he did right after he he left us. <laughs> Tate's one of my best friends. So, uh, and I love the Manhattan Theater Club. This is like the first time I was ever on Broadway was in here. Do you ever wonder what would have happened if you hadn't though? What do you mean? If you hadn't been going off to UPenn. David Lindsay Abair perceptively draws the social class lines in his brand new play, Good People. It's incredibly personal. I grew up in South Boston, which is the working class neighborhood that's in the play. And um, when I was 11 years old, I went to, I got a scholarship to a private school out in the suburbs as a day student. And so every day I would get on the train and go to the fancy prep school. And then at the end of the day, I would come home to Southie. And so uh, class was incredibly present in my life for a long, long time, but it took me many years to finally get brave enough to write about it. I play Mikey Dillon, who um, is an old flame of Francis's character. It's a funny, great, flirty, wonderful relationship that they have. And yet it's filled with a lot of tension. And Tay Donovan gets to play opposite two Oscar winners. We got to watch the Academy Awards with Francis and Estelle. And it was like, so what was it like when you won your Academy Award? Well, I don't know, what was it like when you were your? I was like, you know, it was fantastic, it was amazing. I was pinching myself. Frances McDormand plays Margie, a single mother struggling with a lifetime of disappointments that's left her weary and worn. Remember how pretty I was, though? I do. You thought I was so pretty. I play Jean, who is uh, from Southie, grew up with a tough life. A lot of backstory that I've made up myself, but um, she's um, the best friend to Margie, our, our hero. G46. You come in here all the time? Leave him alone, Jean. Hi. This was a dream role for Becky Ann Baker. The first David Lindsay Bear play I saw was Fuddy Mears, and I ached to do a David, David Lindsay Bear play. Psst, Stevie. You want a rabbit? He made us for opening night these rabbits that are in the play, and they are all dressed as our characters. They're unbelievable. So he's crafty, too. Oh, you, you heard about that? Yeah. He made me a, ra a, a, a doctor rabbit, a doctor rabbit, as they say in uh, Southie. And, um, he uh, also made a, a, like a picture book. Did he tell you that? Where like we were, where all the rabbits are in different scenes with each other. You know, there's a rabbit with cheese, and you know, like it's hysterical. The rabbits are actually uh, there's something that my mother used to make a lot. So um, she would make these rabbits out of out of flower pots, and she would make elves out of flower pots. And she was a very crafty person, so they're around my house a lot, and I always found them funny, and I thought, I'm going to put that in a play someday, and they have made their way into a play, finally. Estelle Parsons is another thorn in Margie's side. She plays Dottie, the landlady, always reminding her that rent is due. I like my character very, very much, and I li I'm very, I like what the play is talking about, class in America, which uh, is not a subject a lot of playwrights are dealing with, so I really like that. Renee Elise Goldsberry plays Kate, a smart, loving wife and a mother in a troubled marriage. The play is about class, and what I love about this play and what drew me to the character was that the actual, the black woman in the play is, kind of represents the upper class and, and has more of an inability to relate to the woman in the lower class who is the white woman, which kind of is reversal of roles. That one? Moldy basement. <laughs> this is how he orders at the cheese shop, they too. They think it's funny. No, they don't. A wedge moldy basement, please. They don't think that's funny, Michael. Yeah, are you crazy? Yeah, they do. I think they're slightly offended, are actually. Are you crazy? They love me in there. I don't think they do. <laughs>